Okay, welcome to this video on MongoDB versus Firebase. Which one of these do you need to use for your mobile application? So, there is quite an anecdote behind this video, and it's probably the reason why I made it. So, back in April, I was working on this Android app, and it was for a very important project, and I was storing all my data in the Firebase real-time database. So what happened is, inside my country, there were a bunch of um, applications for currency conversions. That's a pretty long political story. So in these applications, uh, the government wanted to ban them. So what happened is that the Ministry of Telecom, instead of actually banning those applications, they blocked all of Firebase real-time database. So my project was not working anymore, I could not access any of my data, it was a huge mess, it was a huge, huge mess, and so within a very short time period, because I couldn't wait for them to bring it back, um, I had to migrate everything to MongoDB, and because I was really tight on time. So, and I faced, like, it was the first time I used, and, uh, I used MongoDB with Android, and I was actually pretty surprised at how everything went. So that's why I'm making this video right now. So just to get started, let's actually discuss what the options are here. So MongoDB, as you may or may not know, you have the MongoDB that you install on your machine and you store your, do your data locally. And you have MongoDB Atlas, which is the cloud database. Data is stored inside clusters among a lot of servers. It's very fail-proof. This is something we can discuss later. And that's really basically it. Meanwhile, Firebase provides uh, two database services. One is the, both of them are on the cloud. One is the real-time database and the other is the cloud Firestore. And we will be getting into the difference between these two databases in a minute. But before we do that, what are the similarities between MongoDB and Firebase? In other words, why am I making this video? Why is there a debate around which one I should be using? So first of all, they're both NoSQL databases. So as you may or may not know, NoSQL has been growing in popularity um, in recent years and so many large companies are adopting it. I have a video called NoSQL Explained with all the details about what you need to know about NoSQL in this day and age. So if you're interested, you can check that out. Um, both of them use JSON or BSON in the case of MongoDB to structure the data. So JSON, as you probably know, JavaScript object notation, it's a, it's a data interchange format very widely used on the web to exchange data. Um, so both Firebase and MongoDB use this JSON-like structure. In the case of MongoDB, they use BSON, which is essentially just binary JSON. And if you're interested in knowing what that is or what this or what's really specific, there isn't really much to it. It's just a bit like an extended version of JSON. Um, you can refer to a video below about MongoDB basics that I personally did. So that's basically it. These are the similarities and that's why there is a huge debate around which one we need to use for our application. So Okay, like we said, we would discuss real-time database versus Cloud Firestore. So these are both databases provided by Firebase, and they are both NoSQL, and they both use this JSON format. But what is the difference? So why would Firebase go ahead and provide us with two different types of databases? So real-time database, name suggests, it is very designed around the idea of real-time data. So if you have an app and you're constantly updating data in real time, real time DB is made for that. That's essentially all you need to know. And so real time database stores data in a like large JSON like document. So you have like a root node and you, it, you would have like nested documents inside. The details aren't important right now, but that's just giving you an idea. So that could give you a hint on how deep queries can go. So you know it's like one huge document. So you have to really denormalize your data and you have to really duplicate a lot of data to ensure that you don't go really deep and nested with your queries. If that doesn't make a lot of sense to you, it's fine. This is just, you could say, a side note, but I'm just saying like it's kind of a con of real-time DBs, but we will discuss pros and cons soon. So 
Cloudfire store, it stores JSON documents inside collections within a database. So if this rings a bell, this is probably because you know about MongoDB, where we store documents inside collections, and the collections are all inside one big database. So that's basically it for this comparison. So as an app developer, and or let's say you're, a, you're doing a startup, or you're rolling out a new product, and we all know that before you roll out, or let's say, begin developing, not even rolling out a new product, you have to really make the right decision choice based on an informed research and inf make it an informed decision, basically. You don't want to choose something, then regret it, and then you have your engineers like switch up and have to do a complete new thing. Everyone would hate you, just saying. So what are the questions you should be asking? So if you want to write a list of pros and cons or um, what do I need, what should you ask to decide between MongoDB and Firebase? So question number one, what are you looking for? This is kind of weird because you think that, what am I looking for? I need a database. Well, here's the thing. Firebase is not only a database. It's a backend as a service. It provides a list of services. And when I say a list, it's a very long list. So you have services like cloud messaging, hosting, file storage, notifications. They even have a machine learning kit, like just for machine learning. There are a lot of features. So if you were to go right now and open the Firebase console, you would have like a huge list of services it provides. So Firebase is not just about the DB. But MongoDB, on the other hand, it, it is what it is. It is a database, but it is a highly powerful one. So MongoDB does not provide these services that Firebase is that Firebase provides, but it provides a really good database. So here you start thinking, okay, well, what does this mean? This means that if you're looking for all of these services and you need them and you need that in your inside your application, then in that case you would choose Firebase, right? But if you're actually looking for a database, for pure data, you have a lot of data, a ton of data, and you need to store it in a good way and in a powerful way, and you want to run analysis and all that, then MongoDB is the way to go. So here it's more about, should I take Firebase's entire backend as a service and all the services it provides? Or am I just looking for a database? So that's the question you should ask yourself, and that's essentially what you are looking for. So the next question. What are the types of queries you need? So MongoDB has super powerful queries. And before we really get into that, so... Okay, so before we really get into the different types of queries by each uh, database, Knowing what type of queries you will need is part of designing the application yourself. So when you're designing the app you need or the product, whatever it is, you actually need to know how much data you will be querying. The database is such a central part that you not only need to know what database you're going to use, you need to know how you're going to use it. So MongoDB has super powerful queries. You have so many features. You have filtering. You, the aggregation pipeline is borderline amazing. You have text search, MapReduce, and so many others. So when you're working with a lot of data, you want to do data analysis, MongoDB is the way to go because, and you can query so deeply and like you can do really, really good things. You, if you have large bulks of text in your database, you can even do text search on them. This is an amazing feature. So if your app is really data centric and data is super important to you, you could go, you should go with MongoDB. Firebase, on the other hand, the queries are shallow. So as we said before, with the real time DB, you have to really flatten your data, meaning you can't go very nested. And they're not as powerful. So when I, I was telling you about the application I was working on, so when we switched to MongoDB, I just found so much power at my fingertips just for querying. So that was a huge pro. So for this one, if you need really good queries, you should go with MongoDB definitely. Okay, question number three. How much effort can you give? And in this sense, I'm not only talking about effort. 
I'm talking about when is your deadline? Do you have a year to work on this project? Do you have a week? Do you have 30 engineers all working on this application? Or are you a startup of about two people and you need to do as little as you can in this area because you have a ton of other areas to focus on? In that case, you would need Firebase. So Firebase is super easy to set up. The code is very easy. It's very straightforward, especially for mobile applications, especially for Android. The Android Firebase community is huge. So Firebase is very popular among Android developers. So everything is very straightforward. The solution to all your problems is probably on Stack Overflow, if that's your kind of thing. So in that case, you would go with Firebase. And you would also go with Firebase if your deadline is very close because of all the simplicity and the minimal code required. MongoDB requires more code and expertise, so you, it's not going to be as easy to set up as Firebase. There's a lot of setting up required in MongoDB, especially when you first begin working on it for your application. So that's important to keep in mind. So a uh, question number four, how big will your app going how big will your app be? Okay, RIP grammar. So, if your app, if you want to be the next, you know, huge social network or something, you have to know that you will be getting tons of traffic, or not even social network, like whatever. So, or you know, so in that case, I would say, or a ton of experts would say actually that you would go for MongoDB. MongoDB is is designed around scalability. It's not just highly scalable. Its main purpose is scalability. Now we know that no SQL databases are scalable in general, but MongoDB is very highly scalable. They have a very nice sharding technique, so I'm not going to get into the details of that, but they're very scalable and it's the better choice if you're actually really going to grow as an application and have tons of traffic. It is also cheaper when you scale. So MongoDB is open source. You can get it for free if you have your own servers and you can pay an amount if you want to use their servers. You know, Firebase, you cannot get it on your own servers, so you can't even own your data. You have to pay a fee to Google um, uh, every time you want to uh, for your when scaling your application. And it is inferior with high traffic applications. But for small apps, it's definitely the win. So if you have a small app, a small startup, a small, you know, fun application, you could, you should maybe go for Firebase. If you have something where you think you are going to blow up, and I know everyone hopes that they will blow up with their startup, then you would go with MongoDB. Okay, this is just a side note. This isn't one of the main four questions, but the MongoDB offers amazing documentation. So this is just out of personal experience. I'm a very documentation type of person, so I like to refer to docs. And I really, I was really impressed with the MongoDB one. They have, um, so I already was familiar with MongoDB with using it with Python apps, but I was not familiar with using it with Android and with Java. So I just learned so much so fast just because documentation was super amazing and they have tons of examples like it's borderline as good as a tutorial you could even learn the entire database without referring to a tutorial but that's just a side note it's not one of the pros and cons um at least it shouldn't be okay so finally just like a quick um hint at what do the big huge companies use so this is very very summarized there are multiple companies for each of these they're both very good databases with their pros and cons, so it's probably normal for so many companies to be using them. Firebase, uh, their customers include Twitch. Twitch was actually one of their first customers, so Twitch is a very early customer of Firebase. Shazam and Wattpad. Uh, MongoDB, yeah, Uber, Lyft, Facebook as well. I know that Facebook has done something with the MongoDB API, but don't quote me on that, I'm not exactly sure what it is. Google, although it owns Firebase, it actually also uses MongoDB. It's one of the many companies that use both, so I tried not to include companies that use both. So that's basically it. So if you want to um, use, if you were trying to decide what database to use for your application, I hope this video was useful. Please leave a comment letting me know actually what 
database you think you are going to be using or what database has impressed you more following this video. And please don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you very much for watching.